What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs and welcome to 4K 60 FPS. That's right, we got another new camera. Um, as I discussed in the last video, my A7III's mic jack died and I have been looking for a reason to get an A7 IV. And because of that, I'd like to plug to you the new line of Rocket Vlogs merch that just came out. We have some awesome stuff. We have some super cool bomber jackets. I made a welcome to the Rocket Shop welcome mat or poster, which is pretty cool. We're gonna have to get one um, for the house, obviously. And a bunch of cool new designs as well as relaunching the Thunderstruck APCP logo. And until July 4th, if you use the code LDRS, you get 10% off your entire order. Why? Because I'm going to LDRS and uh, it's expensive. So anyway, we're going to unbox some stuff for you guys here, some really fun, exciting stuff. And uh, just in case you're curious, I, I have a PO box. Um, if you wanna send anything, just even a letter or whatever, we can do mail time videos. I think it's a pretty fun thing. I used to do it with my car channel. So uh, yeah, I'll put the P.O. box in the description. If you feel like sending anything, it's there. If you're looking for cool Rocket merch, rocketvlogs.com. So anyway, we're gonna start with this. We're gonna go here and we're gonna save this big kahuna for the last one. And uh, then I have quite an announcement to make that the Patreon people already know about. But this I'm very excited for because it's for the next big anti-gravity group project. And we have to, we have to take these out and take a look. If you've been flying rockets for some time, and you probably know what this triangle box is, is uh, something I enjoyed seeing a lot when I was a teenager. Who am I kidding? I'm still excited about it. These are the decals for the upscale Arcus. <laughs> Dude, it's so... Dude, I have my full-scale Arcus too. I can put these up against it just to kind of show how much bigger this thing is. So, if you're not familiar, the full-scale HV Arcus is a sounding rocket that's four and a half inches in diameter. We are building a nine inch diameter upscale of a full-scale rocket and we are leaving this weekend. In fact, well, I'll probably publish this early. We're leaving this weekend to drive to Kansas City to build that thing and then I'll be at LDRS. So let's take a look at these things. Dude, the Arcus Bear. <laughs> oh man. If you know how small these logos are compared to the whole rocket, you really get an idea of how big this thing is going to be. And I just want to give the biggest shout out to Mark at StickerShock23.com. He reached out to me and he sent us these decals just to help support the project. Mark is an awesome guy and I've been buying decals from him since I was about 14 years old and he does amazing work. He did my Dare Red Max decals, absolutely insane, like just unbelievably complete decal set. If you have a favorite rocket from any current manufacturer, Mark probably has a decal set for it. If you want to do an upscale, Mark definitely has a decal set for it. If he doesn't have it on his website, he can make it for you and if you want some custom decal work, he can do that too. So please. Go support the people that support us. Visit Mark at stickershock23.com. Never fly naked, man. It says it right here. Just hold it up. Yeah, zoom in for a sec. Dynamic cameraman. The Arcus Bear, dude, it's so good. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be crazy. We're making the nose cone and everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> the spec sheet! Oh my god! This is so awesome! So, dude, zoom in on that. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so sick! I have to send a picture of it to Taylor. <laughs> it's such a big Arcus. Oh my lord. That is the coolest thing I have ever seen. I gotta see this. This takes me back, dude. My first rocket was an Aerotech Arcus. Oh like my, my first mid power was an Aerotech Arcus and it comes with that. Oh, so good. Dang. That is sweet. Yeah. All right, thank you very much once again, Mark. Go check it out, Mark at stickershock23.com. 
Basically, if you can dream it up, he can make it happen. And I have a rocket. I ordered decals from him when I was like 14 or 15. It was the first time I'd ever ordered decals from him. I didn't even have the money. I reached out and was like, hey, like this is a crazy idea. Is this possible? And he made it happen. He hooked me up because I was a kid with no money just trying to do rocket stuff. So yeah, Mark is one of those people that just loves to see the hobby thrive and loves to see people build rockets that they love and enjoy for their beauty. So do not let me forget to take these to Taylor's house. Moving on, in this box is some absolute unobtainium. This box right here contains something I thought I might never ever see again in my rocketry career. Career, I don't think that's the right word. Courtesy of perfectflightdirect.com Address probably on that. Two brand new Stratologer CFs, dude. Oh man, I got tipped off that they were marked in stock. I ordered two immediately, stopped everything I was doing and ordered them because I love the Stratologer because it has a dedicated switch terminal and it is also tiny. So no putting a switch wire together like the RRC2 Plus. I love that altimeter, but they're so, so good data cap from them on windows 11 machines is a little bit of a bear but you can do it we reviewed the data on my five inch punisher flight from a strata logger but overall as far as altimeters you can just put in leave the settings untouched just leave it exactly how you do it set it one time forget it all times just twist the wires together fly the rocket super easy slam a battery in it go one of my favorite altimeters of all time now here's the thing that i'm going to do if we get to 75 patreon supporters by the end of this month, which is like a week and a half away, I will give one of these away to Patreon supporters. One of my hard earned Stratologer CFs, brand new in the package. I will give one of you one if we can get 75 Patreon supporters by the end of the month. Now, the piece de resistance, this rocket came up for sale on the Rocketry Forum when I absolutely did not need to spend money on a rocket. And here we are because it was such a ridiculously good deal that I could not pass it up. And I might have to ask Shane, who's manning the camera, to be a little dynamic once I get this box open so we can show you what's going on in here because I am unbelievably excited. Baby's first two-stage fiberglass high-powered rocket. First two-stage high-powered rocket, period. This is a Mad Cow four-inch all-fiberglass Nike Tomahawk. Oh, dude, it's so good. I have a very special project coming up for this. I was planning on building a scratch two-stage rocket, but now, since this came up for such a crazy deal, I'm gonna show you guys everything that's involved here and why this is such a crazy deal. But I knew, I, I reached out to the guy and we worked out a price. And um, yeah, it was, it was something that I could not say no to, even though I wasn't exactly in a position to purchase this with the LDRS trip coming up. I think ultimately this is going to be very, very fun for the channel. Um, we get to learn two stage high power stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's get all these components out. It just keeps coming. It's like two rockets in one. Nike Tomahawk, four inch booster. With, oops, four inch booster with a 54 millimeter motor mount stages to a 54 millimeter what's motor tube and what's coupler here yeah it's 54 coupler 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 wow it's been a long day ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Anyway, yes, 54. Four inch booster with a 54 millimeter motor mount, staging to a 54 millimeter airframe with a 38 millimeter motor mount. And of course, my head immediately goes to something like, I don't know, K2050 to J570 or something insane like that, K700 to J570, just because it's all fiberglass and it will definitely handle it. But yeah, Nike booster, Tomahawk sustainer, this is why it was such a crazy good deal. Recon recovery parachutes for both stages from Wildman. No 
dome edge protectors for both stages, aero pack retainers for both stages, shock cord for both stages. This was such a good deal and I've wanted to do a high power two stage rocket for so long and I have a project in mind for a two stage and this interstage coupler is so perfectly sized for what I want to do with it. And uh, yeah, so I am so, so excited. So unbelievably excited for this project, even though it's going to have to wait a little bit because of the big announcement that I'm about to make to you guys. So cat's out of the bag, landlord knows, Patreon has known for a while. We just signed some final paperwork, myself and my cousin Shane come out here so people know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Because I pretty rarely call you Shane instead yeah, of Postart. Postart from Postart <laughs> Propulsions. Uh, we are moving to California. As many of you guys know, I'm an automotive journalist and there's not a whole lot of opportunity for video production and press cars and all the things that would make my job wonderful and have while I visited California. See this clip where I just got to drive a $100,000 Ford Bronco Raptor for work for three days. And uh, previously I had a C8 Corvette, Ferrari F12. Those kind of things don't happen in Boise, Idaho. Uh, the C8 was here, I guess. Yeah. That was a dealership car. Yeah. At any rate, it's a fantastic opportunity for career advancement. So many people have moved to Idaho that the house we're renting in California is only a hundred more dollars a month than this house that we're renting. And it has a garage. Yeah. And it was built four decades later. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah. So this... I don't know how soon this is going to happen because uh, also at the time we're making this announcement um, we have about three weeks until we move. Well, we have about a month till we yeah, move. We, gotta, we have about three weeks until we go sign paperwork for yeah. the house and finalize everything. So it's coming up very quickly, but yes, we are going to have a whole room dedicated as like a maker space <laughs> and rocket building area and we're going to have a whole garage that's also going to be used for rocket area and car stuff and all sorts of we are going out there and doing our absolute best to live the dream. So uh, yeah, um, thank you guys all so much for watching this Rocket Vlogs video. And uh, I think our opportunities for Rocket video production is going to be so much better where we're going to be. Brand new camera overheated. Thanks, Sony. Gotta love it. Anyway, super close to Gene Dry Lake Bed, Lucerne, Friends of Amateur Rocketry, Delamar Dry Lake Bed, and not much further than we currently are from Black Rock. We're going to have basically year-round rocket flying. San Diego has a Tripoli Club with like a 16,000 foot waiver. We're in a good spot for rocketry. We're in a good spot for the RC channel that I just started. If you like RC cars and RC planes, go check that in the description as well. It's called RC Vlogs. What a quaint name, right? I want to thank you guys once again so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlog. I especially want to thank my Patreon supporters whose names are rolling across the screen right now. Again, if we hit 75 Patreon supporters by the end of this month, I'm going to give away one of these brand new Perfect Flight Stratologers still in the bag. Also check out all the brand new merch at rocketvlogs.com, discount code LDRS for 10% off. And if you can't support the channel financially, you just don't want to, that is fine by me. You're still here, you watched to the very end of this video. I love you very much. Thank you for watching. You guys press the like button. My name is Braden. You just watched our Rocket Vlogs video, and I will see you next time.